Casablanca stands as a film that lasts the test of time due to its captivating beauty, hypnotizing music, and groundbreaking film techniques. Yet, one scene stands alone for the sheer emotional impact and ability to convey a variation of complex themes through detail invested into each shot. The scene in which Rick and Elsa reunite conveys an astonishing level of storytelling over the course of just a few minutes. In this essay, I will further explore the ways in which text and subtext are used to establish character relationships and themes involving the desire for the past and inability to escape the present. The scene opens in Rick's nightclub, with a medium shot of Ilsa looking longingly upon the club's pianist, Sam. She asks him to play as time goes by for her, with Sam replying that he isn't sure what she means. The two go back and forth as Ilsa begs Sam to play the song for her, and Sam insists he doesn't remember how. Both characters engage in conversation through an over-the-shoulder shot, which alongside consistent eye contact and matched framing conveys a sense of balance between the two characters. The subtext behind Ilsa's need for Sam to play the song for her reveals to the audience Ilsa's nostalgia for the past and still present feeling she holds for Rick. The future versus past ideology is one of the most prevalent concepts throughout the scene. This ideology is weighed on more of a rightist scale as Rick holds disdain for the present and future and subsequently feels the same desire and longing for the past as Ilsa does. After further insistence from Ilsa, Sam finally obliges. He takes a short pause before playing, emphasizing the significance of the song and meaning to Ilsa. As he begins to play, we witness a 26 second close-up shot of Ilsa as she reacts to the song. This close-up shot is captivating and allows the audience to understand the deep emotion that the character is experiencing. This shot is incredibly intimate, and as we witness the yearning and nostalgia in Elsa's reaction, we're given a more profound understanding of her relationship with Rick. Her eyes begin to well while Sam sings the phrase, and when two lovers woo, they still say I love you. On that you can rely. These lyrics reflect the current state of Elsa and Rick's relationship, and the use of this explicit text is successful in reminding the audience that despite the passage of time, the two characters will always love each other. The use of the lyrics seamlessly foreshadows the events that are about to occur as Sam continues to sing, finishing the song in perfect timing as Rick enters the scene and approaches the piano. Rick is introduced within the scene in a wide shot at a low angle as he confidently struts into the club before slowing his stride as he recognizes the song. This shot effectively communicates a contrast between his character and others within the establishment. Although Rick owns the club, where many of the events throughout the film take place, he is still an outsider. He lacks moral values he once had and has difficulty showing emotional connection or involvement in anything he does. A waiter passes behind him to serve a drink and partygoers sip drinks and make small talk as we see Rick position center shot and the emotional impact he feels when hearing the song. This shot is also efficient in communicating themes involving escaping the present and acknowledging the past. Rick's club acts as an outlet to escape the real world and means of drinking and making small talk to forget about the greater problems occurring outside of the club's walls. Rick uses his own establishment as a sanctuary to escape the person he has become, a cynical man who shows little emotional interest in anyone or anything. His character is applicable within the environment versus heredity ideology, as Rick was once a man who cared about the people and events around him, but now has grown cold and emotionless. His behavior and attitudes are again shifted once Ilsa re-enters his life. As he enters the scene and hears Sam play, he is stripped of the wall he has built around himself and flooded with memories of the person he was in the past. A dolly shot is used as Rick approaches the piano. Throughout the entirety of the scene, the use of the dolly shot is one of the only instances of camera movement that the audience sees and gives perspective on the atmosphere within the club. I believe the lack of camera movement in the scene is a choice best made to convey an overarching sense of nostalgia and despondency, and that close-up shots and tight angles help the audience gain a stronger grasp on the specific emotion being portrayed. As Rick and Ilsa reunite, the wall that Rick has built around himself is fully torn down. We see the emotional impact of both characters as they re-encounter through a close-up shot with each of their expressions being shown, both with tears in their eyes and looks of astonishment on their faces. A single chord strikes as they maintain eye contact, further heightening the sense of disbelief each character feels at finding one another. No dialogue is spoken between the two upon their re-encounter, and the use of emotion we witness within their expressions is successful in communicating the care they still hold for one another and their importance for each other. While overall there is very little dialogue, the lyrics of the song, As Time Goes By, stands as the main means of text used throughout the scene. Not only is the song crucial in setting the tone for the scene, but the lyrics themselves detail the main themes depicted throughout the film, the transition of time and its effects on the love that people have for one another. The level of subtext embedded in the facial expressions we see, alongside intimate and personal camera angles, provides effective narrative without the necessity for consistent dialogue. 
Casablanca's ability to proficiently apply narrative in a subtle yet unique format has been praised by audiences and will continue to be regarded as a groundbreaking film as time goes by.